In this video, I'm going to download R and I'm going to install R on my computer. I invite you to join me if you want to come along and see how this is done. I'm starting at a web search window and I'm going to enter R. And on my system, the very first thing that pops up is exactly what I need, the R project for statistical computing. Now I suspect that my web browser knows that I'm a fan of R and that might be why this was the first thing to pop up. So if it's not first for you, notice what it says. Our project for statistical computing, you could actually type that entire thing into your web search line until you get to this link that will take you to www.rproject.org. So I'm going to go there. Now under download, you see this funny word CRAN. If we click on that, CRAN, we'll see, actually stands for the Comprehensive R Archive Network. R is a public open source software product, and that means that anyone can obtain any part of R that they want for free, and all the different packages that you can get for R all are stored on this comprehensive R archive network. Now this is sorted by country alphabetically. I'd like to search for the United States so that I can do a pretty quick download. You actually can click on any of these links, but if we find something near to us, it's going to be a faster download. So you'll see under the USA, we have lots of choices. I'm going to go ahead and click on Duke University not too far away. And now we have to pick what kind of operating system we use, whether we use Linux, whether we use OS X on a Mac, or whether we use Windows. I use Windows, so that's what I'm picking. Obviously, if you use something else, you'll want to pick something else. And then all you need from this page is what's called base. This is the base R statistical software package. That's what we're going to download. So I'm going to click on the download link. I see in the bottom left corner of my browser that it is downloading. It is 79.5 megabytes in size. So depending upon the speed of your internet, it may go fast or it may go slow. Mine is now downloaded. So I'm going to open my file explorer window. Obviously, if you're using Mac, the procedures will be slightly different, but I think you could follow along in parallel. I'm going to look at my downloads folder. And sure enough, here I see R 3.5.0. Depending on when you're downloading, you may end up getting a newer version of R than the one that you see me installing right here. I double clicked on it. My computer is now asking me if I really want to do this, and I'm going to tell it, yes, I do. And I'm going to go ahead now and click OK for the English language. I'm going to agree to the license. I'm going to accept the default location. That saves me from having potential problems later on. And I'm going to go ahead and install everything that they have checked. I'm going to accept the defaults, so I'm putting no here, which means accept the defaults. You don't need to customize. And it's going to create a shortcut, and I can name it what I want, but R seems to be a good name since that's the name of the program. I'm going to again accept the defaults here. And now the program is installing and installing and installing some more. Okay, that took several minutes because R is a pretty large program, but now it's all installed and so I end up with this message telling me that I'm done. I can click finish. 
So when we are done and have clicked finish, what we get are two icons, at least for the Windows version, I get two icons. The one with the 64, this one is for 64-bit machines. This one over here is for 32-bit. If you are not sure whether you have a 64 or 32-bit machine, you can click on the 32-bit because it will work on either. Of course, if you're in the Linux or Mac world, your icon will look the same, but your lettering underneath will be different, and you need to use the one for your system, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and click, and that's all there is to it. To end your installation, you simply type in Q with an open and close parentheses, and you can say no, you don't need to save the workspace image, and that's it, that's all there is to it.